Sometimes nice routine wins are the best. Avs win over the Washington Capitals, four to nothing. Look, obviously all of the credit for this win goes to Alexander Georgiev. He pitches the shutout, the first one of the season for the Avs, and he looked great doing it. Yes, at times the Avs made his job pretty easily, but in the first period and for a couple of saves in the third period, he did have to come up big and bail the Avs out. It's exactly what he did, and anytime your goalie gives up zero goals, you literally cannot lose the game. Georgiev's start to the season continues to be excellent. You cannot ask any more than what he's given to the Avs so far. Particularly with the Avs as banged up as they are, his performances are that important, and he continues to provide the Avs a whole bundle of wins with his good play. For the rest of the team, the first period was bad. Admittedly, it was somewhat of a continuation of the Carolina game, but again, they get away with it. Not something that you like or something that's sustainable, but something that does happen. And had that trend continued throughout this entire game, the Avs probably lose this game, but thankfully it didn't. So while the Avs 5-on-5 five -five play was a mess for the first period, the one bright spot was their special teams. The Avs managed to draw three power plays in the period, and even the ones they didn't score on it did look quite dangerous. That includes hitting a post, which brings the Avs up to 10 bad posts on the season, and ultimately at the end of the period they get an opportunity on the 5-on-3, a somewhat similar situation to what they had against St. Louis. And it's not very often that you see in the NHL a direct comparison and improvement, but this is kind of what this was. A 5-on-3 situation, the Evs are giving a pretty normal 5-on-3 look for them with Miko up high, Makar on the opposite side, and McKinnon down in the normal Miko spot. And those are the three that they usually play through. Leckie working down low. The initial attempt for McKinnon honestly is not a great shot to take. But with time grinding down, they run the same play they ran against St. Louis. It's just a cross looking for the shot from Makar. And Kale Makar, he doesn't miss that one very often. This time, he buries it. This time, Kale McCarr finishes accurately and effectively and gives the Avs a one-goal lead. So the Avs play a bad period and come out ahead. Doesn't happen that often, but when it does happen, you have to feel at least a little better about it. And the Avs aren't stupid. They know they can play better than that, and they did through the rest of this game. The second and third periods were good, solid, quality hockey from Colorado. Not their best, but certainly good enough. And the reality is, if you can play solid hockey for the majority of a game, you're gonna win a lot of the time. There wasn't anything particularly special for the majority of it. I say that, but we'll get to the McKinnon goal in a second. The Avs were just the better team, not by a lot, but by enough. It was very likely going to be a closer game if Georgiev didn't carry the team a little bit, but still, the Avs put up four goals here. That's enough to win on most nights. And yeah, it does help that you have one of the best players in the world that at any moment can do something like this. What is initially a very good cycle for the Avs, Josh Manson getting involved with Alex Newhook, the Avs are always dangerous because their defensemen are willing to jump in deep in the cycle. Ends up creating some room for Nathan McKinnon, who gets the puck up high, but you see the Capitals have been caught pretty deep in their zone. So McKinnon uses that space effectively and then just murders Nick Albe Kubel, completely erases him from existence, gets by him, walks in. Looks like there's absolutely nothing to shoot at here, but it's able to find a shooting lane and beat Darcy Kemper on the far side with just a perfect shot. Nathan McKinnon is just that good, but it's not like Washington is completely out of talent. I know they're banged up as well, but they have Alex Ovechkin, literally the greatest goal scorer to ever live, and the Avs managed to keep him off the score sheet. The game was just steady for the entire back half of it. The Avs doing a good job of killing some penalties that you knew were going to come against them, but their special teams won that battle tonight. It wasn't super high octane, it wasn't the Avs completely dominating, but it was a decent hockey game from both sides where the Avs just looked like the better team. And again, we're starting to see the Avs be able to do this, win different styles of hockey games, win games where they get outshot, win relatively even games, win games where they dominate, win fast games, win slow games. They're starting to do all of these things even with their shortened bench. And honestly, that isn't even fair because their depth played pretty well in this game, particularly their third line consistently kept the puck in the offensive zone, did a great job forechecking and just outworking Washington. 
And finally, in the third period, they get rewarded for it. The Avs' third line has been doing this all game, just getting pucks in deep and working hard to keep the puck in the offensive zone for the Avs. A lot of it has not really led to dangerous chances, but this one finally does as they're able to work it out high and Jacob McDonald is open enough to put a blast on net. The initial shot definitely hits something in front, probably multiple things, but the last thing it hits is Cogliano's skate and it just trickles by Kemper. That one pretty much sealed up the game and made no doubt about it, but the Avs would add another one just because they can. This one is fairly standard stuff from the Avs, McKinnon getting the zone and curling up before dropping to Miko to come down this near wall, but then the Avs get a little bit lucky. Off screen, you have Lekkonen chugging in on that opposite side looking for the seam pass, and it's not Miko that makes this pass, but it's a loose puck, and it's Alex Ovechkin defending him. He panics a little bit and just whacks at the puck, ends up sending the perfect cross-ice pass on accident right to Leckie's stick, and Leckie makes it count. A two-point night for Arturi Lekkonen. He's now on a six-game point streak. Really good to see him get going, and we're starting to see that throughout the Avs lineup. New hook with a couple of points in the last couple of games. Comfer now up to six points on the season. The Avs have started to pick it up across their lineup, not just at the top. After dropping that game to the Blues, the Avs are now back on a winning streak, and all is well. The Avs are 7-3 and three in their last 10, even dealing with all the injuries that they have. That is more than good enough. And keep in mind, when the Avs get further along in the season, when they start to get guys healthy, they're going to be even better than this. That is the end of this game video review. Thank you for watching. Head on over to thednvr.com for all of our coverage. We have a bunch of stuff available for everyone to read now. I am Rudo, and I'm perfectly fine if every game looks routine like that.